is a plentiful crop in the Arklamas and, like many others, has seen hard times financially. However, this year is a 180 from that with yields large enough to help make history. Fox 14's Brian Briggs traveled to Rayville to bring us the story. Brian? Well, Sarah, Richland Parish is known around the U.S. for the cotton it produces. Decades ago, there was literally a gin on every corner. Hard times closed them up, but now the white gold is slowly making a comeback thanks to a variety of different reasons. Rayville Producers Incorporated is the only cotton gin in northeast Louisiana. Producing 65 to 70 bales an hour, the gin has its hands full processing this year's yield. And we bring in the raw material, the raw, uh, raw cotton that they pick out in the fields. We're ginning the lint actually grows out of the seed. We cut the lint off of the seed. We clean the lint and bale it into a package that that farmer can sell. Although cotton had a rough start, the season yielded one of the best crops in a while, and Mother Nature can largely be credited for that. We got the plant matured pretty early because of the heat units we had. We didn't have rain to rot the bowls in the bottom. So we've got a healthy bottom crop, and I think that's a big contributing factor to the above average yields this year. In addition to seeing more cotton crops in general due to low soybean and corn prices. We're looking to gin somewhere in the total area of 120, 125,000 bales. Now, once they hit that magic number, it'll be the most bales ginned by a single gin in Louisiana's history. And they're not only doing that, but they're also providing a lot of economic opportunity both on and off the property. As cotton continues to make a comeback in Richland Parish, not only will the gin become more efficient, more cotton being produced means more money for the community. It's extremely encouraging now to see that cotton is returning to northeast Louisiana and to Richmond Parish. The economic multiplier for cotton is about seven and a half to nine, so every dollar that's produced is nine more dollars that get spread throughout the community. Expecting to gin cotton clear into next year, and if the expected economic turnout happens, they could potentially be able to put another gin press in, increasing production to 140 to 150,000 bales next year. Live in the studio, Brian Briggs, Fox 14 News. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well